The boat that's right behind you is a Pursuit ST310. It is a big beat. So you can do straight down dives. The roominess of these boats, they're very well thought out. Check this out! <laughs> this is called Flyboard! publisher Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine and I'm excited to be down at the Newport International Boat Show. This is a phenomenal event. Really having a wonderful time down here in beautiful Newport, Rhode Island. While I'm here, I'm looking around for some new and innovative products that we can sink our teeth into up in the Great Lakes. And I ran across our friend Bill. Bill, how are you, sir? I'm great. Good to see you. I'm going to try to pronounce this correctly. Sonatech. Ultra Sonatech. Ultra Sonatech. This is pretty fascinating. Is. Tell us a little bit about your product. Well, the Ultra Sonatech technology is all about using the ultrasonic wave to set up a, a wave across the bottom of the boat. Okay. And what that does, it, it kills all the microfouling that occurs on the boat. Microfouling is the very beginning of your entire fouling program. So if you solve that, then you don't get the macro fouling, such as in the Great Lakes, you got your zebra mussels, yeah. and your weed growth, and so on. Yeah. This will stop it. Just one millimeter of slime on a hull, whether it's in fresh water or salt water, will increase the coefficient of friction by about 70%. So we're talking a higher fuel burn, slower speeds, limited range. If you handle that micro growth, it gives you a lot better fuel mileage and it also stops the macro fouling. Once you do that, you also extend your paint life. Yeah. So your anti-fouling paint will last a lot longer. We'll take an ablative out to about double the life. Hard bottom, we'll take it out about three times the life. Okay. And it eliminates the diving in the meantime. Also keeps all the through hulls open. Yeah. So we can do not only the hull, but we can also protect the prop, the shaft, and the rudder too. How do you do that? Well, we actually set up a transmission mount, for example, that goes right on there and it'll set up a resonance all the way through the shaft and into the props. Okay. And for the rudders, we mount them right on top of the rudders. Okay. So it's an amazing technology. It's not new. It was actually discovered by the U.S. Navy in World War II. Yeah. They weren't getting growth on their sonar domes, on their subs, and on their ships. Right, right. Well, it's gone from there to being developed into a technology to solve the NF filing issues. And today it's a big deal. Yeah. I have a 58 Hatteras. And in my Hatteras, my cost for bottom maintenance is as much as my insurance and my birthing cost. Oh, my Combined. goodness. That's right. We're in Sarasota, Florida. Well, this kind of product, from what it sounds like, would pay for itself almost immediately. It pays for itself pretty quickly, depending where you are and yeah. how often you're hauling. For me, I had a 10-month payback. Okay. And for me, anytime I can get three years or better, I'm golden. Yeah. So your payback is really good. And the beautiful thing about it is you're both ready to go when you are. Right. No waiting for the diver to come before you take your cruise. Right, right, right. So it's convenient, cost-effective, and it's high-tech. And it's totally green. It puts nothing into the environment. Okay. Um, you got a 58 Hatteras. We've got some bigger boats on the Great Lakes, but most of our boats are going to be around the 25 to 40-foot range. Yep. Would this product work for those kind of boats as well? Absolutely. We've got them on boats as small as 18 feet. If they're staying in the water all yeah, the time, yeah. they get fouling. Now, you so still have to paint the bottom of your boat, though. Yes, this okay. works in conjunction with your bottom paint. Okay. So it doesn't replace it. You always want a bottom paint anyway because you want the osmotic barrier to go ahead and protect your hull. Right. So you always want to have a bottom paint on. What we're going to do is extend that life and eliminate the cleaning cycles in between. Which is nice. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a lot of growth up in the Great Lakes. You guys have any kind of a guarantee or anything like that? Or what do you offer in order to ensure the product works? Well, we have all kinds of testimonials on our website. People can go on to www.altronatech.com okay. and they can look at all the testimonials. We do in-builds, for example, for a large yacht like all the alloy yachts that are built. We, mm -hmm. Our latest launch there is 186-foot Mondango. Oh, wow. Yep. So we do boats of all sizes, large and small. We can't do a wooden boat, okay. and we can't do a ferro-cement boat. Okay. But if it's aluminum, steel, or fiberglass, we can handle it. You're all over it. Now, to install this product, you need to have a professional installer come in, or is this something you ship to them, and they install it themselves? Well, it depends how handy a person is. It's okay. actually a pretty straightforward installation. It's a matter of prepping the surface, mixing up your epoxy, and mounting the transducers to the inside of the hull. Okay. Maybe when we're done, you can go ahead and do a close-up of that, and they can see what it 
actually looks yeah, like. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. Because it's real simple to put in. Okay. And then from there, running your wires and hooking up your control box. Do you have installers though? That we do. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. So let's say, um, Bill, we're not able to make it down here to the Newport show to see sure. you guys, meet you guys, and possibly even buy the product. Sure. Where am I going to go online to find out more information about it and where I can buy it? Ultrasonatech.com. We'll go ahead and give you all the information, all of our testimonials, our technical data is all on there okay. also. Good, good. So I recommend that before people make a buying decision, that they do a lot of research, understand the technology, and also understand its limitations. One of the big issues you need to make sure of is you put enough transducers on your hull to solve the problem. Yeah. Because more is better. <laughs> That's what it's all about. So always make sure you put enough transducers in. We consult with people on that. We'll also go ahead and look at their hull plan for them and give them the placement of where it is. We have really good technical service. Okay, good. And we have engineers that will completely do the engineering. We're doing a 105-foot swift ship right now in San Diego. We've got a 75-foot uh, Molokai that we're working on out here. So we'll engineer the entire installation process. Outstanding. So go to ultrasonatech.com com to get all the information about the product and about what it is that you guys do, how to be able to install it, all that kind of fun stuff there. Absolutely. It's all right there. And again, we do have dealers and installers that we're setting up all across the country. Bill, thank you so much, my man. My pleasure. I greatly appreciate it. You guys got to check out this product. It's truly revolutionary when it comes to marine bottoms. Ultrasonatech.com or come on out to the Newport Boat Show. You got nothing better to do. It's a great place to be. Yeah, you got it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you out on the water.